a beautiful sight. My goodness. Is spring sunshine finally here? Or am I being very optimistic that this is gonna stay? I always like to show you <laughs> that view when I'm talking to you up here in the bathroom because maybe I'm not making eye contact <laughs> with the camera as much as I normally am because there's something just magnetic about that view and I can't help but stare at it. So I'm very sorry <laughs> if I appear to be gazing wistfully into the um, horizon, <laughs> but oh, it's just so beautiful and I love to share that view with you. I think that before moving here, having an epic view would never have really been an important thing for me when looking for a new house. I don't think I ever would have considered it, excuse my hair by the way, <laughs> covered in dry shampoo. I'll explain why later, why it's not clean. Yeah, but now that having lived with this view, not that we are planning on <laughs> moving house, um, but I think that having a view from your bedroom window is something that I would put very high up on my priority list now. That's my little ramble for the day. <laughs> Good morning, my darlings. I've got a very busy day planned today. I will fill you in on that shortly. Um, but a little skincare update for you as we, as we have such a glorious day. I'm going to have a little chat with you about a new SPF product, which is a very, very exciting new launch. Not that you should only wear SPF on sunny days, mind you, especially if you're using active ingredients within your skincare routine. It's something that you should use every single day. It's something that I've been really <laughs> trying to educate Charlie on lately because he's got more into using active ingredients and is it me or are men just very stubborn when it comes to doing what they're told when it comes to their skincare routine? I know Charlie certainly is. Anyway, so this morning so far, I've been outside, I've done my grounding. <laughs> I have watered the plants in the greenhouse all before my morning coffee at 7am and skin is cleansed and skin is moisturized now. Let me introduce you to something very exciting. This is the new Skin and Me Daily Defense Oil-Free SPF 50 Sunscreen. You guys will be very familiar, I'm sure, with the Skin and Me brand if you're not. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you will be very familiar with this. This is the Skin and Me Daily Doser that I have been using for probably nearly two years now. I know so many of you guys already love this. If you're not familiar, the Daily Doser is a product which is designed completely for you based on your individual skincare needs, whether that's first signs of wrinkles, um, blemishes, pore size, skin uh, texture, redness. You basically send a few makeup free photos and some skincare, inf some skin information to the team at Skin and Me and they will design you your perfect daily doser. As you have this over time, the active ingredients change, sometimes increase, often increase in their strength. And for me, and I know so many of you, this makes such a humongous difference to how your skin looks and feels because those, the mixture of active ingredients that is created just for you, the mix is created just for you, it really does give your skin the skincare benefits that it needs. And I've seen a huge, huge, huge improvement in my skin, the overall glow, pore size, skin texture since using this. I'm a hardcore fan, hardcore fan. Something to note, however, if you do use active ingredients, which this does, of course, contain, is that that makes your skin a lot more photosensitive, which means that it's a lot more sensitive to light from the sun and blue, blue light and other forms of light. And whether you use active ingredients or not, you should always use an SPF. It's very important for protecting the skin. But if you use active ingredients like Skin and Me, it is non-negotiable to use an SPF within your skincare routine. So I kind of predicted that this would be coming from Skin and Me. I knew they would do this at some point because to be honest, it's the dream team having your actives and your protection. You only use this in the mornings. You don't need SPF at night, but you do use this at night. So in the mornings, you would cleanse your skin, you would um, hydrate your skin, and then you would protect it with your SPF. In the evenings, you would cleanse, moisturize, no, cleanse, daily dose, 
and then moisturize. That is my personal routine. So the oil-free SPF 50, this has actually <laughs> converted Charlie to using an SPF every single day because of the formula being so lightweight. A lot of SPFs that we've tried in the past, they're just a little bit, um, they can sit on the skin a little bit too much, not sink in, whereas this sinks in super duper quickly. Don't uh, scrimp out on your SPF. It's really important that you get a good coverage. I personally don't notice this to have any particular smell um, and it sinks in immediately so I can actually apply makeup straight on top of this. Don't forget to pay attention to your nose. For me it's the hairline. I have to be really conscious of the hairline and then of course take it down to your neck and décolle. So this will protect your skin from UVA and UVB which is of course very damaging to the skin does um, cause skin aging, can also in some cases cause skin cancers and photosensitivity. So just very, very important that you do use an SPF. This one is designed by the skincare experts behind Skin and Me. So instantly I trust it. I know that my skin is going to love it. Excuse me while I refer to my phone <laughs> to tell you about the ingredients. So we have got in here vitamin E, um, and niacinamide to help prevent inflammation damage from UV exposure. So when we go on holiday, I will be, of course, wearing this as well, but very important to, as I've said a million times, <laughs> wear it every single day because even if it's not a bright day, and especially if you're using active ingredients, I cannot stress that highly enough. Active ingredients, think about it, it's taking off that those dead skin cells, so your skin is very pure and um, susceptible to sun damage when you're using active ingredients. So protect, protect, protect. So there we go, the ultimate protection and primer all in one. So this month, darlings, the discount code is Josie05Y. I will leave that on the screen here. That will get you your first month of the Skin and Me Daily Doser, which is the original product that I've been using forever, um, that I use in the evenings to treat your skin. That will get you that product for $4.99, your first Daily Doser for $4.99, and a free trial of the SPF. And if you're already a Skin and Me member, just log into your account and click Add to Box. Sorry for <laughs> reading from my phone, but I didn't want to get any of that information wrong. So yeah, this is the final product that I apply onto my skin before popping makeup on in the morning so my skin is protected, my skin is glowing, my skin is being treated thanks to the Daily Doser. I know so many of you are huge fans of this already. I've spoken about it so, so much. So this is the new dream team, the new dream duo. Now, my darlings, I'm going to pop some makeup on and then fill you in on the plans for today. Today is a very exciting day. Heading into London today for a variety of things. Most importantly, well, three very important things. I will list them in order. So I'm firstly going down to Bond Street. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. Gotta pick up something very exciting. Then I'm heading to Michael Van Clark, who does my cut, it is where I get my colour, and of course they are going to be doing my hair on my wedding day. So today is my wedding hair trial. As of this very moment in time, I have no idea what I'm going to ask for, what I want to do, so my homework on the train journey is to do a load of research. You'd think I'd been dreaming about this since I was a child. Alas, I have not. Um, I just roughly have an idea, half up, half down, volume, waves, Maybe some flowers thrown in for good measure. Then, um, oh, which order am I doing things in? Facial next. Tragically, the hair won't, I won't be able to spend the entire day looking gorgeous with beautiful hair because whenever I get a facial, my hair just gets ruined and I've got a hydrofacial, so it will be worth it, of course, because hydrofacials for me are just top, top dog. Whenever anyone asks me what facial I recommend, I always say to them, do you want pampering or do you want results? And if they say they want results, I always say just go and get a hydrofacial. It's not like a relaxing experience. It's not an unrelaxing experience, but it's not like a pamper, um, but it just cleans your skin in the most wonderful way. So hydrofacial on Baker Street. And then, um, and I have been so looking forward to this day, I'm heading up to Yes, up to Harley Street to see Dr. Tom Crawford Clark to get the notches. I don't know if you can see them. 
the notches on my teeth removed because I've actually finished hallelujah my Invisalign program yay very exciting so yes the notches are coming off and then I will still wear my final aligner for another week and then I'm getting my composite bonding done to build up my teeth again and then I think he will take another mold of my teeth and then I will get a retainer made but that week between waiting for the retainer to be made I won't be wearing anything so I need to ask him how I stop my teeth from moving while we're waiting for the retainer to be made can't remember so I need to dash outfit of the day for a day in London it's glorious but it's not warm <laughs> so I've popped on this is the first official outing of my new Chloe coat from Vista Village I like how casual it feels um, it feels more casual than the Dior coat and if the Sun does not blow it out completely you can see it's cinched in at the waist um, I like how it looks with the sleeves pulled up a little bit I'm not gonna wear my nice watch in London today just don't think it's worth it I just hear so many stories of people getting jewelry stolen these days so I'm not gonna wear it gonna leave it at home Cotswolds attire only and then my Givenchy bag I'm not taking my laptop today I'm just gonna take my iPad with me because I can do my emails and things on there and then underneath I have got the Erdem dress that I wore on the Belmond British Pullman the lighting won't be quite so good here but dress and then Aquazura heels I will cinch in the coat like so <laughs> That's the outfit of the day. I need to grab my sunglasses and we're ready to go. Okay, made it into Marlebone. It's just glorious and can you tell, this is my new obsession, <laughs> both making the recipes at home and getting bits from the deli. It's also right next to the Good Life Eatery, so I might just get a quick avo toast from there. Oh, I just love to look at the cakes in the window and I might grab myself a nice salad for lunch. Oh my gosh, yum, yum, yum. Oh, it looks amazing. treat this is there wasn't any space <laughs> to sit down and eat otolenghi so i've grabbed a little lunch box i've got the aubergine and the cauliflower butternut squash with tahini wild rice and a little savory muffin and i'm sat under this wisteria covered pergola in grosvenor square it's so gorgeous and peaceful here these gardens are just stunning look at these beautiful irises not sure if you can see them gosh it's so tranquil and I'm quite happy to just sit here. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video and enjoy my Ottolenghi brunch. <laughs> Okay, confession, I'm only vlogging to see if I've got food in my teeth, I think we're okay. So, just messaged Em, she's in London today as well, and we're just gonna meet for a quick coffee at the patisserie here at the Connaught Hotel. It is the cutest place in the whole world. They have got so many nice little, um, like pastry bits and coffees. I could not recommend grabbing a lunch from Ottolenghi's any more highly or a brunch. That was so delicious and I feel like it's going to keep me full all day. I don't even mind sitting and eating by myself. I was just listening to a podcast. It felt very wholesome. Um, so yes, I'm going to very quickly catch up with Em and then I'm going to head to Bond Street. I want to look in a few stores, got to pick up something very special and then on to Michael Van Clark for Pet. So just around the corner from the main Connaught entrance, I hope it's open, Connaught Patisserie. Got some gorgeous little bits in here. Oh, Em's gonna be so proud of me bringing trainers in my bag. Oops, don't know why that's so zoomed in. How cute is this? They've got a little ice cream stall outside the Connaught. Em and I just had a very quick catch up. She's got a meeting at 12, but 20 minutes with friends is sometimes all you need. Couldn't quite finish my matcha latte. I never make matcha at home, so I thought I would try it today. Couldn't finish it in time, so got the rest of it in this takeaway cup. Isn't it gorgeous? Now I'm gonna walk through this lovely part of town to my next appointment. How gorgeous is this nasturtium dress in Oscar de Renta? Gosh, I would properly 
match the inside of my greenhouse if I wore that. My nasturtiums just came into flower a couple of days ago. Oh, I love it. So fun. I think they might have had a little makeover at Dior, this lovely floral wooden entrance. I'm gonna have a little little browse. Why not? I've got five minutes to spare. This room always reminds me of when I first saw gardening bits in Dior. They've got some lovely home inspo. Beautiful, oh my gosh. The tray with the wheat in it, so simple, so pretty. Of course, I find the Dior wellies. Oh my gosh, they are quite fun. A little bit clunky for me, probably. Outfit of the day. Haven't changed out of my trainers. I'm just gonna leave these on, I think. <laughs> Practical footwear for the win. Okay, my darlings, I have picked up something very special indeed. And now heading up to Michael Van Clark, Beaumont Street, Malabone, for my hair trial. I've got a few photos on my phone that I found while on the train on the way up. Wasn't able to do a lot of research because unfortunately the train was completely round and I had to stand up. Bit of a pain, but the um, Kingham line into London is down at the moment because the bridge fell down on the track. So half of the Cotswolds are now using our normal line, so it's always very, very busy. But yes, I've got something very exciting in here. It is an unbranded carrier bag, which always means there is something very special inside. Um, so yes, excited for the hair trial. We'll show you a few little sneak peeks and then it's on to an afternoon of pampering. Here we go, I'm excited. I'm actually gonna see if the lovely ladies that do nails are free just to do a gel removal so that I can have um, a treatment on my nails for the next week. We'll see, it's very last minute for me to ask. to my next appointment of the day, heading into Hydrofacial. Their flagship is on Baker Street, so you can come and get um, a quick version or you can get a body version. I'm gonna go and have, I think, a 45 minute facial to give my skin a real good clean. chai latte in Dalesford. I've just had my hydrofacial, so no makeup on, <laughs> so not looking at my most glamorous, but it's been a wonderful afternoon with those various appointments. Um, I definitely fell asleep <laughs> during the hydrofacial, so I apologize for the lack of filming. Um, but it's just so relaxing having someone pull all of the gunk out of your skin. I did take a little shot of the, they call it the gunky junky at the end, where you can see all of the um, dirt essentially that's been pulled out of your skin. But tomorrow I'll have the most wonderful glow. So I've got half an hour until my next um, appointment, which is with Dr. Tom. So I've got a little chai latte. And then I have actually a little mini toothbrush for me because I think if you're going to go to the dentist then it's only polite to brush your teeth beforehand. <laughs> Let me know if anyone else does that. Um, anyway, I'm getting very embarrassed vlogging in public so I'll see you at the dentist. Guys, I finished at the dentist and I'll give you an update when I get home but I'm actually incapable of walking past Honest Burger without going in to get one and it is dinner time and Charlie's having dinner with George and Petra so I think it is a sign that I need to have an honest burger for dinner. Now this is the definition of Yum Arillo. They have collaborated with a local cheese place, La Fromagerie. Got shoestring fries, got chipotle, got onion rings. I'm by myself, but I don't care. Good morning, my darlings. It's the next day. I actually put the vlog clips in the right order today. Um, so it is Thursday morning and 
I had a bit of a lion this morning. A lion for me, I woke up, actually I woke up at 4.45 and I was like, no, this is too early. So I went back to sleep um, and then got up at 10 past seven, which for me is very leisurely. I think London days just wipe me out. I don't know how I used to live, <laughs> live in the hustle and bustle of London and just power through every day. I think that's why most people have like a 10 year period that they can live in London and then after that they're like, that's me done, I've done my duty, get me out of here. That is certainly how I feel, whereas now I'm like, one day, okay, get me out of here. I don't know, fellow countryside dwellers, I'm sure you can relate. Um, as you can tell by the outfit of this morning, I'm about to go for a gym session with Simon. Got my little olive, I think this is the olive, Adenola set on. Um, it's the old set, I have actually ordered some of their new designs, so hopefully they will arrive soon because they look really lovely. Hazelnut and cashew, I can't really call it a cappuccino because it didn't really froth, <laughs> but coffee this morning. So, let's catch up on yesterday. Um, busy day in London, can't remember the last thing that I actually showed you, but, <laughs> so I went, I, the day finished, um, had the hydrofacial, I fell asleep during it, so didn't film <laughs> that much. Um, but I feel like treating yourself to something like that every now and then, it's such a wonderful thing to do. If you're able to get to a, a clinic that offers a hydrofacial, or um, of course the hydrofacial flagship on Baker Street, because it's just really nice for regular skin maintenance. I am doing them every month in the lead up to the wedding, just to have a great glow. Um, my skin just feels very, I was gonna say empty, <laughs> my pores, pores are empty. And with skincare, obviously it's never one size fits all, but for me that combined with being really careful what products I put on my skin, obviously the hydrofacial does include a very mild peel so i didn't use my skin and me doser last night because that would be too much active ingredients and today it is super duper duper important as ever but even more so straight after a treatment like that that you use your spf 50 so i have already put a little bit on just a tiny bit and because the gym will have the doors open um but yeah so very important to protect your skin after any form of exfoliation like that, but as I said yesterday, always very important. Then I headed to number 80 Harley Street, but it's actually probably, by the time you're watching this, Dr. Tom Crawford Clark will, I just love saying his full name, <laughs> such a fabulous name, Crawford Clark, sounds like something from Downton Abbey, um, my legendary dentist, he's so amazing. Um, it's He's actually moving around the corner to Wimpole Street to a really fabulous, I was gonna say salon, but it's a <laughs> clinic? Clinic, yeah, clinic. Um, what's the time? Oh, I've got eight minutes until I need to go to the gym. Yeah, he's moving. I did, I did film some clips during our session, but they are just comically unflattering. I might insert a few as I'm explaining, um, but just have a good laugh, because they're so funny how unflattering they are. Um, I look like a thumb <laughs> slash mole, but that's fine. So. The appointment yesterday was to remove some of my attachments, not all of them, and when I asked why not all of them, he said because I'm going to be wearing my aligner for one more week while we wait for my composite bonding appointment, my teeth, if they didn't have the attachments on, and the attachments are like little tooth coloured bits of enamel I guess, attached to the teeth, um, they help to really lock your teeth into position in your Invisalign brace, especially important if your teeth are slightly changing angle, which some of mine have done. So he only removed the attachments on the top ones so that we could do a composite bonding mock-up. I think this is where I filmed my first <laughs> very unflattering um, video clip. So composite bonding is the most incredible thing that you can do if you would like to really visually impactfully change the appearance of your smile but with very little scariness basically when you go to a dentist because all that happens is um, it's essentially a composite material bonded onto I got something in my teeth, no there's something on the lens <laughs> don't mind me um, yeah a composite material is bonded onto your teeth so that you can basically design how your teeth look which is amazing so first of all Tom removed my attachments on the top six or eight teeth these ones the visible ones 
and then he mocked up with I think he set it with like a UV light basically like crafted the perfect teeth because these I don't want to be quite so bunnyish but we knew they'd become bunnyish because we also wanted the tops of my teeth <laughs> lol um, to be more even to give the illusion of an even smile he's so clever how he really he really thinks about each patient and plans out what is going to suit them it's like a smile redesign service it's amazing i can't recommend it any more highly we spend so much money on outfits and hair and nails but your teeth are so important so to have them to feel good with your teeth i think is very important so yeah we mocked up um what the composite bonding will look like but obviously with a temporary material so it's only one flat color the real thing will be a lot more natural looking he'll take a lot more time crafting it and making it like the exact same color as my teeth that's going to be done next week which i'm so excited about um and then he took it off again so the attachments that he added on the composite bonding that he added on was just a mock-up you can go and do that and then approve <laughs> your new smile and then they take it off again. So I've got my aligners for one more week. Next week, it's gonna be a very busy day, Chelsea Flower Show and Composite Bonding Day, and then back to, <laughs> to Chelsea Flower Show next week. So I am really excited for that. The journey is coming to an end, and I will be happy <laughs> with my smile forever. So there we go. Right, I need to get into the gym. I'm gonna pop my little charity t-shirt on. So today we've got Ruben coming over. You guys loved Ruben <laughs> in the last vlog, so I'll try and capture some content um, of him. I do have to edit his words slightly because <laughs> what they say on the Isle of Wight, <laughs> you can't say in the Cotswolds. So he's just hilarious. Um, we do have a good laugh. So time for the gym. Probably another weightlifting session with the doors open, looking at this sensational view. Look at that. I just, I just can't believe that that's my view every morning. Oops, you just saw my unmade bed. I better make that before his lordship comes back. No, I can't bother to do it after the workout. Look at this, open air workout. Yes. It's a couple of hours later now. Fantastic workout this morning. That was a really good session with Simon. Um, I've had a shower. I have used my bristly Dyson Air App attachment to get a little bit of movement. Might add some more curls in later, but haven't decided. I'm gonna go downstairs and make a nice, savory breakfast with you in a second. But I've had a couple, a couple of um, beauty deliveries from Christian Dual Beauty and Charlotte Tilbury. So I thought we could give them a little try. First of all, the packaging. How gorgeous is this? I think this is a bronzer. Do-do, do-do. The bronzer that I'm currently using every day is, I think, probably <laughs> the exact same, um, but from the spring collection. What's it called? Tan bronze. And this one is light bronze. So maybe this one's a little bit darker. I don't know but it's a lovely kind of all over bronzer. I did already apply <laughs> the one that um, I'm currently using, but yeah, for like an all over glow on the complexion, it's just really, really beautiful if you are a powder bronzer lover. So thank you for that. Dior Beauty, and they also sent this, um, looks like my old bronzer, but it's actually in a shiny packaging as opposed to a squidgy packaging. Stun Arillo Stunning Highlight. This looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to apply it quite precisely with this little brush here. Because I think it's quite a strong one. Ooh, that is pretty. This is perfect for our upcoming holiday. If you apply with an eyeshadow brush, then you can be really precise with where you apply it. This is lovely. 
Oh, it's such a nice, like, warm summer holiday, bronzy, ever so slightly rosy colour. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's definitely coming with me on holiday. And finally from Dior, this little eyeshadow palette. Gorgeous. I can't say that I'm particularly confident with blue eyeshadow, but you've got a lovely warmy all over the lid colour, highlight under the brow bone colour, crease colour and jazzy colour. Not sure how to use this colour, but I like the warmth of the kind of terracotta -y shade in the top left corner. This is the Eden Rock. Oh my gosh, all the trips that Dior have been doing to Eden Rock. Oh my gosh, what a dream. What a dream. They looked so incredible. That's nice, just a warm, warm bronze on the lids. So that's a couple of newness, new bits from Dior. And then at Charlotte Tilbury, we have got Pink Gasm, Beauty Light Wand, Easy Highlight Blush. Love the sound of those. Let's give this a try. I do love a cream blush. So you squeeze it and then you can just That's a lot, a lot. I am gonna regret having so much on my face. I'd actually recommend putting this uh, on your hands first and then applying it to your face. Wow, because this is an intense color. Beautiful. Ooh, that's so pretty. Wow. <laughs> oh gosh, I need to do some serious blending far too much, far too much. Apply less than a third of what I just applied. Salvation is needed. Salvation. Well, I now look like I worked a lot harder in the gym than I actually did. A little bit rosy, rosy complexioned, but a beautiful product that you just do not need anywhere near that much of. And then I'm excited to try this. Pink Gasm jewel lips. Should we put on a little bit of lip liner first? I did already have a nice balm on and this is going to be a sparkly gloss. Goodness me. Ooh, that is so pretty. The sun has just come out, but mmm! is gorgeous. I'm so not normally a gloss person, but I love that. Glossy on the cheeks, glossy on the lips. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to start um, going a bit loopy if I don't have some food. And so let's go down to the kitchen and whiz together. I'm kind of feeling like a cheesy omelette. <laughs> a cheesy omelette with some veg thrown in for good measure. I was looking in the mirror being like, what have you forgotten? And I've forgotten to put mascara on. <gasps> what a plonker. No wonder I thought I looked a bit funny. <laughs> I haven't got any mascara on. What a sausage. Just a little bit of mascara. This is the Merit Beauty one, which is gorgeous. Laura Mercier finishing spray. <laughs> My finger is almost not strong enough to miss that effectively. Righty ho, we're here again. Are these little cooking segments getting boring, by the way? Because I appreciate that I am a very repetitive person and when I find something that I like, I just make a million variations of it. But stick around if you do like cooking but you're already very bored of my um, omelette because <laughs> I've been showing you this forever. Because what I'm gonna do after this is I am gonna make some sage pesto um, and I'm gonna make a sage pesto pasta for our lunch because we've got obviously Chloe's here, Kasha's here, um, and Ruben and obviously me and Charlie. So I'm gonna make a nice sage pesto pasta that we're gonna have alongside some salad -y bits for lunch in like an hour and a half and I'm just about to make an omelette. So I'll share my sage pesto with you. And if I have time, I might try making the Ottolenghi savory muffin. 
that I had in the uh, cafe yesterday because it was so good. I couldn't find the exact recipe online but very similar ones and I've got most of the ingredients so I'd love to give that a try but for now two eggs Dalesford organic eggs speaking of Dalesford I have been given a discount code which I'll put on the screen here which will get you 20% off the Dalesford harvest festival tickets which is amazing Charlie and I will obviously be there so if you want to come and say hello to us then uh, just come along to the Harvest Festival. It's obviously not an official meetup, but we will be there and we always bump into people at Dalesford and it's going to be really fun. It's a two day festival, 16th and 17th of June. Um, and it's just loads and loads of wholesome, amazing, fun things going on at Dalesford. Let me tell you some of the stuff that they're doing. I'm not sure if the tickets are limited, if they'll sell out or anything, but worth... Oh, that is such a pretty dress someone posing upside down in a pretty dress. Right, uh, let's see, Dalesford. What do they say about the festival? Okay, Dales, oh sorry, I just told you the wrong dates. It's the 17th and 18th, which I presume is a Saturday and Sunday of June at their farm. So the biggest event ever hosted on our Cotswold farm. You'll find attractions and activities for all the family from hot air balloon rides, dancing JTBs, JCBs, back-to-back -back live music, um, cooking demonstrations, wellness sessions, yoga, pilates, dance, psychotherapy, hands-on creatives, and the famous Dalesford Dog Show. We are going to be entering Dickens into the competition for the Cotswolds' scruffiest dog, and I think he might win because he is the Cotswolds' scruffiest dog. An abundance of delicious organic food and drink. Children under 12 go for free. So yeah, I'll leave a link to the event right down below and you can use the code It'll probably be like Josie20 or something to get 20% off. So, can't wait, because we've actually missed the Dalesford festivals in the past, because they are normally the first week of September, the Harvest Festival, which is when we are in Catalonia. And then they were going to have a summer festival last year, but then it was just after the Queen died, so they cancelled it. So this one is going to be bigger and better than ever. Anyway, omelette. Omelette. What we're gonna do is two eggs, one, two, spoonful of mustard, cause yummy, three spinach leaves, which I'm gonna cut up. A pinch of salt, scrunch of pepper, Normally put feta in, um, but I can't bother to get my hands dirty <laughs> by crumbling it. And we do have some grated parmigiano oregano, so spinach and parmesan frittata. How delightful. Do I need one more egg in here? That's the question. Probably should have whipped the eggs before adding the spinach. Do you know what? I'm going to throw in some pine nuts, because why not? Dexy! Okay, let's get it on the ob. Pan on the heat. Bit of olive oil. Give that a few seconds to warm up while I tidy away. Gosh, this is very spinachy. Hope it's gonna cook all right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've got some delightful pumpernickel bread here from, oh gosh, it's kind of like a cake. Is it a cake? Oh, I think this is sweet. Oh dear. Not what I thought it was going to be. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna have one bit of this and my seed crackers from the other day. Interesting. Maybe I have two bits. No, I think that'd be a bit weird with a spinach omelette. Okay, the um, omelette creation <laughs> is in the Arga for a couple more minutes, and I'm just thinking about what I'm gonna make next. Just had my Amazon delivery. Yay, <laughs> the book that I have been talking about. So Jessie in, in Chowspe, 
hope that's how you pronounce her surname, the glucose goddess, goddess, whose podcast I've been listening to and who I've probably been boring you with my new obsession. Veggies first, savoury breakfast, vinegar before your meals, which I've actually not tried yet. I'll try it tonight and let you know. Actually, I won't try it tonight, just in case my tummy doesn't agree with it, because tonight is a very important meal. Tonight, drum roll please, Charlie and I have got our wedding meal tasting, which is super exciting. I think it's absolutely no surprise to you whatsoever who is doing our wedding food. We are keeping it as local as possible. We are sourcing ingredients from literally like 10 miles from our house. So we have chosen quince and clover, of course, to do our wedding food. So it's gonna be wonderful. So basically tonight we're going for dinner at Quince and Clover and we're gonna be trying a, trialing our wedding meal, which I can't wait for. So I won't do the vinegar tonight in case it makes me feel really full or feel funny, but um, this is Jessie's book and I just wanna learn more about glucose and blood sugar levels. So I'll give that a read and let you know. Then this one, I actually had a lovely email from Samantha, the author of this book, and she was basically saying, um, that she thinks I'd really love the book. She offered to send a copy, but I said, no darling, I will purchase a copy. And um, obviously thanked her profusely for the very kind offer, but I like to support people where I can. So I bought the book um, and I can't wait to read it. So it's, <laughs> I just read the first page and I'm literally thinking that Samantha and I are the same person. I'm Sam, I'm 36 and I live in London. I'm cheeky, lovable and unlovable. I love pasta, coffee, fashion, interior design, pottering around, traveling, being the center of attention and making people laugh. I also like being able to turn an awkward situation into something hilarious. I'm an overthinker, impulsive, I'm uninhabited and sometimes my mouth works faster than my brain. Oh, I love that. So I think it's like a really nice feel good book, which I'm gonna read when we're on holiday next week. Cannot wait, let's check on the frittata. When will I actually use oven gloves? Oh, I forgot to mention I added more parmesan. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Oh, I love the smell of a cheesy omelette. As they say in the Cotswolds, yummerello. <laughs> this is a nice um, Amazon dress, by the way. Not, not the um, shirt dress that I've been wearing loads lately, but a slightly different version. God, this pan is, it ain't no always pan with regards to its non-stickability. So this might turn into a scrambled egg. Yeah, baby. So, oh, got a couple of seed crackers and that random bread that I thought was pumpernickel bread from Dalesford. Yummy. Nice, healthy breakfast. delicious spinach omelette. Look at this. I thought you'd rather see the garden than my face all over again. Um, and as you've just seen, I made my Dalesford dupe smoothie with bananas, dates, cinnamon, kefir. Um, I put some coffee in there for a little bit of pudding. Now we are heading towards the kitchen garden. No surprises there. And I am going to attempt for the first time a sage and walnut pesto. Gravel crunching, I bet that's the boys' home. And um, yeah, we've got a lot, lot, lot of sage. As you can see, darker, darker leaf sage, purple leaf sage and normal. So I'm gonna pick a load of this to waz up for a pesto. be barefoot as much as possible during these nice warm weather days for my grounding. <laughs> oh, it's worth a try. It's a free thing to do if it makes you feel better. It's free. Look at the lupins. Aquilegious. Saucisson. Okay my Dixie, are you on guard duty? 
Thank you, baby. Okay, I've just cooked some pasta and I've got the ingredients out here basically to be all blended together to make a sage and toasted walnut pesto. I think I'm just going to wait until Reuben and uh, Charlie and Chloe get back though because I might ask Reuben to just film this for a nice reel in case anyone else has got a ton of sage in the garden and they wonder what to do with it. So I'm just going to leave that all out there. But what I'm going to do over here in the meantime Look at my sweet little boy. You're so lovely. You're very scruffy. Your bottom is extra floof. Extra floof. Mummy, don't. Don't, don't, don't take the mickey out of me, mummy. I am a baby. You're not a baby, you're a little boy. Anyway, um, what I saw Hill House Vintage share ooh, was this. And I happen to have lots of onion and a spare puff pastry, which I didn't end up using for my carrot tart at the coronation because I ran out of time. So this looks quite easy. Olive oil and balsamic vinegar on a baking tray with some thyme sprinkled over, a slice of onion and then puff pastry on top. It looks really easy and I feel like it's a sign because we've got the two main ingredients and the other bits we just have lying around. So I'm going to go and pick some thyme from the garden and do a little experiment. Should we go to the garden again, my filet? Come on, sweet. Come with your mummy. Come on, you slug. Come on, you slug. I'll step over you then, my little minx. Oh my gosh, it's such a nice day. Oh, I love it. Definitely going to eat outside. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time after time. <laughs> right, luckily, we've got plenty of time, so... <laughs> Plenty of time! <laughs> oh, the herb puns. Right, let's get some time. Time after time. Time after time. We got lots of time. <laughs> oh dear. God, it smells so good. What are your favourite uses for thyme? Let me know down below. Right, slight change of plan. I just spoke to Charlie on the phone and they are getting breakfast in a cafe in Adderbury by Straw Top instead of coming home. So I won't do the onion thing and I'll still make the sage pesto but we'll have that for our lunch tomorrow. So I might just get changed and um, get ready to shoot some bits in the garden while it's still fairly nice outside. The sun has gone in a little bit which is a shame it's not quite so warm and glorious outside now but um there's a few things i want to shoot with reuben a few different recipes a few different gardening bits so i am going to plan those gosh look how glossy my <laughs> cheeks look my whole complexion from the um makeup and of course facial yesterday and skin and me <laughs> um but yes okay change of plan so i'm gonna get changed and plan some bits to shoot with reuben this afternoon and just before I get changed out of it, this is the Amazon dress that I've been wearing today. It's, as I said, very similar to the shirt dresses that I've been wearing a lot, um, but a little bit less detail. It is obviously a shirt dress. I've just rolled up the sleeves. I feel, I feel like this design and the other one that I've been wearing could become the new Josie dress. <laughs> I've been wearing them so much from home, they just are so easy to throw on those days when I don't really want to think about my outfit, I guess, where it's it's not <laughs> really warm yet. It was warm earlier, but it's gone back to being chilly now. I do want something on my sleeves, I want a little bit more up here, and it's very easy for me to just throw on one of these raffia belts, but if I want to jazz it up a little bit like I did the other day, then you can add a belt, which is like the linen what do you want to call it? Strip and tie it in a bow. That looks lovely, but yeah, really like this sage green one. It's a perfect working from home, cooking from home, relaxed day at home dress. But anyway, I'm gonna go and put something a little bit snazzier on. What are we gonna do? What are we going to shoot? Hmm, need to get my thinking cap. Um, what were you saying, chaps? We were just discussing how accurately Reuben can portray a cow. That's quite rude, actually. Go on then. 
Okay, you want to? <laughs> you want to <laughs> Wait, no, no, this is an Isle of Wight. Um, yeah. Special. Uh, what you, are they called? Like uh, alarm clock. Yeah. We just whenever we need to wake each other up, we just make the sound of a cow. You ready? Okay. Yep. Three. Two. <laughs> that is <laughs> exceptional. Do you know what? So when we're doing all these ASMR videos, what we don't it's realize actually is actually all the Ruben. That he's come up with. It's actually all me. Are actually him with a mic. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that, or if Charlie's cracking the air. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, like You're a human ASMR. I am. Yeah. It's yeah. new yeah. beatboxing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So oh, anyway, the Chuckle Brothers are back yeah, together. We are going to found a business together one day. And I think we. You say that to all your friends. Ant and Deck. Charlie and Ruben. As lovely as they are, they're on their way out. I think you're probably right. I think Ruben and I. Okay, interesting. I just think Rubes and Chaz. Rubes and Chaz. Rubes and Chaz. It, That's got a good ring to it. So some of these um, celebrity sort of pairings, they get very politically correct. So in certain ones, contractually, you have to mention their name. So Ant and Deck, no. Ant has contractually got agreements that it is Ant and Deck, not Deck and Ant. Yeah, but it's all brand, isn't it? Yeah, that's How the brand. That, yeah, so you, you know, wouldn't say, oh, I'm just cool. off to Spencer so and Mike's. Like, what is it? What's, the, what's the being very current at the moment? It's um, Phil and... Holly. Holly. Who's <laughs> been very. <laughs> <laughs> okay, isn't it? They've had a big falling out. Charlie! They? they are. They've had a big falling out. Have they? Have they? I'm yeah, unaware of this. Phil and Holly, it's all kicked off. Right. On this the... morning. Yeah, really? Um, but yeah, so Rubes and Chaz, right. if you are a film producer, director, or TV series. Maker, Your mate Idris wanted you to be a producer, didn't he? You could put all my rates. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> yeah. The, the, in all seriousness, if there is anyone in film watching, or TV ideally, mm -hmm. I mean, I'd, I'd like, I think we're made for ITV. I think we're too risky for BBC. I think BBC, BBC couldn't off. handle us. I think ITV, Jonathan Ross made it work on ITV. I think we can make it work on ITV. You've actually got <laughs> Um, what's Clark, what? what's Clarkson's farm Channel Spawn 5 on? at this point. Uh, look, we, it's not <laughs> ideal, but Channel 5, we're, we're all ears. There was a, oh there was a kid at school, do you remember, so this makes me sound very old, but so Sky obviously was a very new and expensive thing, so we didn't oh, have Sky growing yeah. up. No, I mean, and most people didn't, but there was a kid at school that didn't even have Channel 5. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and people used to mock him. No. no, no. So you'd be in the playground and like, so you'd be like, oh, this is Tom. Oh, he doesn't have Channel 5. Like, that would be, that would be Ooh, as if I can't remember the last good thing I watched on Channel 5. I don't think I had Channel 5. Yeah, really? but yeah. No. You're, you're about to get roasted by Rubes. Yeah. Rubes and Chaz. <laughs> but anyway. Right, on that know. note, let's film some kitchen let's garden ASMR. Some footage. footage. And videos and that. Yeah. <laughs> and we're ready to shoot the next couple of pieces. Reuben is currently stood at the hedge between our field and the sheep field, banging out the sheep to try and get some sheep ASMR. See if I can catch him in action. Yes, sir. You're not getting it, huh? Hold on, I'm talking to them. <laughs> They're not having any of it. Not. Chloe's confused. <laughs> Luck. Sheep are being vocal. He's off. <laughs> Sheep take one. I mean, take two. Sorry about earlier. Thanks everyone. <laughs> we got him. 
We got him. Jolly good. Welcome to Ruben's music video. Welcome to Chef Me, cooking again. Here to try some more food. This time a little bit more edible. This time it will be delicious. We Don't worry. Do you want a fork? Oh, uh, yeah. You don't have to have a fork. Here. Yeah. We're trying the pesto. Delicious pesto, which we're making a video for. Mm, it's quite garlicky. Is that okay? That's really good. Jolly good! Mm. Ten oh, out that ten. lemon at the end. Yeah. Good lemon, right. garlic, sage, walnut. Yamarillo. Mmm. Great. Can't wait to eat that later. That is gorgeous. Super. If you guys are interested in the recipe, make sure to check the links below. It will be down there. Try One more. Bloody good, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Good job, you. Mmm. We'll take it from the list. Well, it's going to be easier, actually. Oh, no. <laughs> Just get on with you. Goodness <laughs> sake. Right. Mm. Really garlicky. Fried beans to Italy recently. Um, all their food sucks. Compared to this. Really? Don't believe you. Really? Oh, this is really garlicky. All right, I've had enough of this. Uh, Alexa, will you please stop playing whatever you're playing? Oh, she did. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think she paid attention. <laughs> she listens to me. Poor Alexa. Me and Alexa go way back. You see. Is this <laughs> Good job. Good job. Ah. I thought it'd be helpful. <laughs> I thought you had a big camera. No. Oh, oh that looks better. Oh, it's greener, it's isn't it? It's gone greener. Bring the light round. Bring the light on. Wow. Bring the light on. Look at that. Oh, well, it might need a bit longer. You've got a big chunk around Oh, there. no. Send her back in. <clears throat> back in. Right. I can hear that the blade is not um, the blade is not touching. The so okay. We need the blade to be. This is all very high tech. We need a spatch situation. On the Isle of Wight, we still use mules to <laughs> to blend our <laughs> our herbs. Oh my god! <laughs> oh dear. We'll have Isle of Whiteians commenting down below. Yeah, but, um, and they'll say that's so inaccurate. We don't use donkeys to blend our sage. We that's way too advanced. <laughs> Ooh, rather exciting. I think we've got it. We're good to go. I think we're good to go. We okay, go. gang. Want your fork? Oh, yes, please. Here. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm a professional videographer. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. On the wonk. Yeah, a bit wonky. Here we go. Okay. Go for it. No, you go first, please. It is first. Quite. Quite a lot. I see your verdict. 10 out of 10. Is it better? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Roger that. It's just taken away the... That sharpness. Mmm. That was still there, actually. Mmm. Mmm. It's very good for the um, immune system, though, garlic, isn't it? Makes me fart. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me have bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't worry about that. Mm. If Charlie asked, we'd turn mm. the bugger off. Bad We're worried right. more garlic. There's nothing you can do about it, you horrid boy. I think that's splendid. I think you've done a wicked job there. Jolly good. Right, need a jar now. Jar it up. Mm. Super. Remember to like and subscribe. And to follow for more garlic recipes here on the Garlic Channel. <laughs> it literally is. It is. Last, uh, last time I came here, I ate garlic. Did you? Yeah. It's almost like you didn't know I'm allergic to it. Oh, shit. Hello again, darlings. A little bit less hyperactive now. Ruben is still here. He's downstairs chilling out. Um, and I have just got back into the dress that I was wearing yesterday, popped on a little bit of powder on my T-zone, and new official lip combo favourite. I actually used the Victoria Beckham lip liner. Um, it's a little bit darker than my lip colour. I cherish this lip liner because it's so good, 01 Victoria. And then I've used my all-time favourite Elizabeth Arden Notably Nude number 27 lipstick, which is just beautiful and balmy. And then, for a little bit of jazziness, the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm Jewel Lips. Not normally a glossy lips person, but really like how this looks. Actually, do you remember like three vlogs ago, the Bista vlog, I was with Em and I asked Em what was on her lips and she was wearing um, the collagen lip bath from Charlotte Tilbury. And I think this is very similar. Anyway, 
reason for redoing makeup and getting changed is of course we are about to head to Quince and Clover for our wedding meal tasting. I don't really know what to expect. Is it just going to get served to us like a normal meal? Um, do we... Obviously we're very friendly with the Quince and Clover team. I'm sure there'll be a lot of chat. Is that normal? I don't know. So basically what I'm about to show you might not be a normal tasting experience. I guess sometimes if you're in like a hotel or a normal venue then they've probably got set things and you can't really change much. Whereas here we've already decided the menu. I guess we're just gonna go and try it. <laughs> Which sounds super. I really need some hand cream. Don't have any right here, that's a shame. Oh, I've got so much clutter everywhere. Um, so yes, I will film what I can. I need some earrings. Let's put in some earrings. Ooh, I think I forgot to show you these by the way. In um, my little Monica Vinader unboxing. I've been wearing my Monica Vinader rings non-stop. They're slightly chunkier hoops, and the actual metal looks a bit hammered. <laughs> do we want to go hoops, or do we want to go the dangly jade things? Oh, I don't know, I quite like them. I do like a pretty hoop. Oh, I'm really happy with how my skin is at the moment. I hope it stays like this for the wedding. Note to self, don't change anything before the wedding. Yay, okay, I'm happy. Right, let's go. my darlings back home now after such an incredible evening i don't i don't know what i was expecting but that was just the loveliest experience the whole of quince and clover was just the four team members there and charlie and i so it's very interactive a lot of chat about what worked what we wanted to change which spoiler alert was practically nothing we just we fully trust quince and clover and how they put together different ingredients local ingredients um how they present things the different flavor combinations they really know what they're doing and we were so happy to just let them take the lead obviously there's a lot of discussion as to what kinds of things we wanted what we wanted the inspiration to be like obviously kitchen gardens and local produce but I actually, I said to Charlie, I think for quite a lot of our wedding guests, they will quite possibly walk away saying that that is one of the best meals they've ever had in their lives. <laughs> I think that that is, that is, that is how good the food will be. Even at the beginning, I'm not sure if I showed, but the little canapes, oh my gosh, some of the best canapes, if not the best canapes I've ever tasted in my entire life. And the level of detail that we were discussing with the team, right down to how many coffee beans or will we have coffee beans on the espresso martinis after the meal i just love the attention to detail that quince and clover gets i think if you're a perfect perfectionist then you really appreciate that level of detail um but yeah it was an incredible incredible evening really lovely to hear from the team as well that lots of you guys visit quince and clover and say you're doing like a josie and charlie tour of the cotswolds so i'm so glad lots of you have discovered it it's normally not open in the evenings um i think it's just for tastings and things like that because event catering boutique event catering is the main part of their business well, obviously they've got the deli as well um you can go for amazing breakfasts and lunch i sound like i'm doing an advertising pitch we're not getting our wedding catering for free obviously we're supporting local businesses um but it's a business that we truly absolutely love and love to support and love that you guys are visiting and loving as well so yes a fabulous evening um I'm gonna go to bed now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here, um, do my evening skincare routine. So darlings, don't forget about the Skin and Me discount code. All the information will be linked down below as always. Don't forget to check out the SPF, very important always, but especially as we go into summer and if you are using active skincare. So darlings, that is all from me. Thank you for watching. I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.